Hey, welcome to another episode of beersandbars.com. Today we're coming to you from Las Vegas, and today we're going to be talking about Modelo Reserva right here. Now, usually I'm previewing or viewing craft beer, but occasionally uh, these uh, major corporate beers bring out something new that I haven't seen before and um, decide to want to give it a try. I'm not against. Uh, I'm not against drinking corporate beer. Uh, I prefer at this point, I prefer uh, craft beer just because I believe they take more chances. And, um, you know, depending on what type of styles they're making, they're also true to the craft. Uh, but occasionally, like I said, um, the corporate beers comes out with something that I just thought I'd give a try to. I live in Los Angeles and uh, I haven't seen this in my area. I haven't necessarily looked for it. I didn't know it was out there, but I came to Las Vegas and hit up uh, Lee's Liquor on Las Vegas Boulevard, and this caught my eye. And I, I've been trying to figure out exactly, well, it's basically a modelo, but it says finished on aged wood from tequila barrels. So it says finished on, so it's not finished in. Occasionally, you uh, like a barrel stout or a... Uh, different they they actually they're in the barrels that contained you know bourbon or other types of uh of uh, uh spirits but in this case it says finished on aged wood uh from tequila barrels so i you know just did a little quick research and apparently small uh home breweries home brewers that don't have access to barrels or what have you they actually do sell wood that you could just include and the way they describe it is uh, they just include it as another ingredient so I'm not really sure how they necessarily aged or finished the beer on the aged tequila barrels but because I, I looked online looked on their site and couldn't really find anything so if you guys could uh, maybe explain it put it in the comments and uh, let me know I'm always like I said, I'm not one to say I know everything about beer, hardly. But uh, I just like to see beer, taste it, and then share with you the different beers that are out there just in case you guys were wondering about certain beers. But let's go ahead and jump into this one, the Mosello Reserva. If you guys are on tap, make sure to hit me up on Beers and Bars. It's definitely clear, a little bit of carbonation, not a very big head there. It definitely smells like a like a typical lager. Has some sweetness there that you could like a, a sweet aroma that comes up. Definitely a sweetness at the end. I'm not a big uh, tequila drinker, but it, it it's not a. Uh, it's almost like a. Like a maple. Honey sweetness to it. So it's definitely not. Don't don't consider it like. Uh, what do you call it? A beer in a shot. It's definitely not that. It's 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 uh, well, obviously it's Modelo, but it has a little fuller, mouthy, sweeter taste to it. I think it's pretty good, uh, and it's still, you know, fairly low ABV, five point five alcohol per volume. Definitely, definitely. I would try it. So if you if you see it and you're a Modelo drinker, 
Um, try it out. See if you would like it. All right. Now, I just, just wanted to do this also and give it a try. Because usually, not usually, but sometimes uh, when we're having a Mexican-type beer, we also like to uh, have a little michelada with it. So I also picked up these this cup. And this one's from uh, Baja Micheladas right here. Also, uh, actually, I believe, yeah, picked this up also at Lee's Liquor right there. So it's just a simple cup. It has a uh, chili powder right there. And it has some a chili packet that I just opened up and poured right there. And I just wanted to give it a quick try. And because uh, not every beer is meant for a michelada. Have you ever tried a michelada with an IPA? It's not things that are supposed to be married together, so don't do it. All right, let's go ahead. Now, of course, there's other ways of making a michelada. Uh, they also have a michelada mix that you could add. Um, this is just a simple one. It's basically a cup with spice on it. Little little chili powder, little chili powder inside. Um, so let's see. It's all right. It wouldn't be my first beer that I try with uh, with this Michelada because of the of the sweetness. The sweetness of it and the extra fuller taste it kind of wants to fight the chili powder and that's a good thing this this beer right here Modelo Reserva doesn't necessarily need to, well it doesn't it doesn't need lime salt chili powder uh, tahin anything that you like to add to your usual uh, Mexican beers there this one actually stands alone and it's pretty good <coughs> excuse me I've also seen that Modelo also has a, a Reserva made with uh, uh, bourbon age barrels. So if I find it, I'll try it next. But as far as Modelo Reserva, it's definitely a beer that stands on, on its own. I wouldn't use it on the Michelada cup, <clears throat> but I am gonna finish it. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching another episode here on beersandbars.com. I would definitely recommend Modelo Reserva. And if you haven't done so already, have a great beer. And be safe out there. Thank you.